if you are making this for Valentine, then I will suggest you to use pink color. Hi, welcome to Anjurisa's crafting room. My name is Trisa, but to make it easy, you can call me Trisa. And in this video, I will show you how to make this hairbo no sew at all. I promise, stay tuned. We will start from choosing your own fabric. I will suggest you to use synthetic fabric, especially a lightweight fabric like chiffon or ganza. And I use tool fabric for this because tool fabric won't fray. The reason that I asked you to use synthetic fabric is you can burn the edge of the fabric or use a soldering iron to cut the fabric. It's a great way to cut synthetic fabric using a soldering iron like I did in this video. You can check out my previous videos right here. It's actually an old video of mine but the technique, the way I cut the fabric, it's still the same. So I will use tool fabric in this video. It's the easiest fabric that I can find because tool fabric won't fray. As you can see, it won't fray when you cut the fabric. The size is about 16 and a half inches. It's a square shape. So the first thing is we are going to fold the fabric to the center. I am using a quite large piece of this tool fabric because I want to make the bow a few layers for the bow so the bow will be more sturdy so we fold the fabric to the center and then I will fold it in half just to determine the center here fold to the center and fold to the center now if you want to use a sewing needle and thread, you can gather the fabric right in the center. But because this tutorial is a no-sew hair bow, I will scrunch the fabric like this. You can scrunch the fabric right in the center. Scrunch the fabric. Scrunch the fabric. And then use a sewing thread to tie the bow. I will use a contrasting color to make it easy for you to see but I will also suggest you to use the same color thread so it won't be too visible. Just tie the bow right here. I will cut the thread first. Now we are going to tie the bow. Tie it a few times to make it secure. You can see now let's take this piece aside next prepare a rectangle shape of fabric the size actually depends on how you want the tails to be i am using 24 by 16 inches for this blue hair bow and i use 28 by 20 inches for this pink hair bow you can see that the tails on the blue hair bow is shorter than the pink one depends on how long you want the tails to be you can choose your own size i am using 24 by 16 inches for this handmade is all about your choice it's all about your preferences so i am going to fold the fabric to form a triangle it's actually not at the same length so you can you will have two triangles here as you can see it's two triangles it's two triangles here it's hard to show you i think i will show you from that camera you can see the size and then what we are going to do is we scrunch the fabric right in the center just scrunch it once again if you want to use your sewing needle and thread you are welcome to use just scrunch the center part and you can see that the tails the shape is so beautiful now i will tie the tails once again using contrasting thread but if you can use the same color thread it's better so it won't be too feasible just tie the tails tie it
if you are making this bow for your Valentine's Day, then I will suggest you to use pink or red color. Now take our previous bow. I will use my hot glue gun. I will use my hot glue gun to tie to put them together. And then to secure it one more time, just to make sure, I will tie the bow once again, just to make sure that it's secured in place. Let's tie the bow. Next, I want to attach a hair clip at the back side here. I am using hot glue gun and you can see that any hair clip that I know. Let me show you the other hair clip. You can see there are two types of hair clip that you can choose. Any hair clip that I know, they have a little holes here. So you, you will add a glue right on the holes along the, along the hair clip and then you add a lot of glue right on the holes here and then you can just attach this to your bow just attach at the back side here Now I'm going to wait this for half dry. I am waiting for the glue to half dry. When it's half dry, you can just press the glue with your scissors or anything that won't be sticky. As you can see the glue here. We are going to press it. So it's flat down. And do the same thing to the other. Just wait for it to half dry. And when it's half dry, you can press it once again. So it's flat down and this way the glue will be more secure to hold the hair clip. And the last thing is to prepare a small piece of fabric. The size is about 6 by 5 inches. Fold the, fold the fabric in, to the center and fold it to the center. Fold it to the center here and then fold it once again and we are going to tie it to the center of this hair bow slide the hair bow here and tie it to the center and you can just leave it like this if you want to trim it you if you want to trim it and then glue it to the side here but I will just leave it like this because it's hidden and that's it our beautiful no stow hair is finished thanks for watching this video if you find this tutorial useful please give me a like and share this video if you don't just hit the dislike button and tell me below about what you don't like see you in my next video bye bye